I was recently asked to give a talk to some tourism students to explain to them what customer service would look like from an American perspective. More and more Americans are putting Finless on their destination list of places to visit. And so as part of trying to figure out how to accommodate and to serve these uh, new visitors, um, I was asked if I could come in and just give some insights into what Americans would be expecting from a customer service perspective and sort of like what are their needs when addressing them. When I move to a new country, I always notice a lot of different customs and things that are so different for me. But the thing is, after you've lived somewhere for a while, you get used to things. So um, things that jump out at you in the beginning become kind of ingrained and you don't even see them so much. So when I was asked to give this talk, I thought, oh yeah, no problem, I can do that. Yes, I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some things. But then as I started thinking about what I would discuss, I realized that, you know, it's a bit more difficult because having been here now almost four years in Finland, um, you know, I had to kind of rack my brain to think, okay, when I first got here, what were the things that I found different, difficult? Um, so I had to really kind of uh, try and bring myself back to my initial thoughts because things that I'm going to mention now wouldn't necessarily be an issue for me now because I just know how things work in Finland and so, um, you know, I just come to accept it. For this week's video, what I want to do is to just kind of walk you through some of the highlights of my presentations. I want to just explain what I think um, American expectations are from a customer service perspective in Finland and more highlight things that I think might be a little bit different for a Finnish person um, and the way they would treat other Finnish people. Um, I'm not saying that, yes, this is what Finnish people need to do because you, have, you still have to be yourself. But um, I just want to give a little bit of an idea of what I think Americans would be, ex I wouldn't say expecting, but more what they're used to so that you kind of understand how or why they may react a certain way. So I've got some of my slides and I'm just going to go through um, a few of my slides and then kind of explain how, how my talk went. If you have other ideas, if you think that I'm off the mark, if you think of other things that I should have mentioned, um, I'd be happy to hear about them in the comments. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this topic. I had a look at the Visit Finland website and they have a little section where they talk about um, American tourists. And so uh, this is what they had to say about American tourists. And following that, I have sort of like my own take on what they're saying. Summarizing what Visit Finland has to say about American tourists, they say that they're looking for unique experiences, new destinations. They are attracted to Finland because it comes across as a safe country. Finland has a reputation of being the happiest country in the world and also um, the nature. In terms of when they say unique experiences, um, what I'm thinking of is that it's sort of like the chance to see the northern lights, um, doing things like reindeer rides, um, staying in a high hotel, um, trying sauna, um, staying in a glass igloo, and finished design. Those are sort of like things when I think of that I feel um, Americans would be attracted to Finland. After looking at what Visit Finland's research says about Americans visiting Finland, I thought about, from my own perspective, what feedback I've had from um, Americans that I know have, that have been to Finland. And they're sort of like, my, my takeaways are, number one, it's, it's kind of a bucket list destination. A lot of people will never, a lot of Americans would never come to Finland, but for some people who have been to, you know, the London, the Parises, um, the Rome type places and they're looking for something a little bit different, you know, Finland is will fit into that sort of bucket list place that, um, you know, something that they can do that many people haven't done. Almost everyone that I've spoken to that has been to Finland have said, yeah, it was great. I had a really nice time, but I don't need to do that again. So it's kind of a one time thing and that's it. And as I'm you know, as I was addressing the students, I was saying to them, you know, 
from my perspective, I see the best case scenario as being one whereby you um, you show your guests a really good time and that, you know, they go away and that best case scenario, they will have such a good time that they will say to one of their friends, you know, hey, if you're looking for someplace different to go, I recommend Finland. But I wouldn't necessarily see that, you know, these um, that these guests would return. After speaking theoretically, kind of in an abstract manner about the subject, I then wanted to do something a bit more interactive. So I decided we would do some role play scenarios. So what I did was I sort of I explained um, what I feel the customer service expectation um, or um, kind of what an American would be used to in a situation. And then I picked a student from the class and I had them come up and I had them um, be the American. And then I played the Finnish person who was um, providing the service to the American. Then after we did that, then I had the student go back and I picked another student to come up. And then I became the American and then they were the Finnish person. And so I wanted to see how they um, adapted um, to um, what I was suggesting, how an American would like to have customer service delivered. The first scenario that we played out was in a retail environment. The second scenario was in a hotel. The third scenario was in a restaurant. I summarized my talk with the following points. For most Americans, visiting Finland will be a once in a lifetime experience. They want to go home with some stories of interesting things they've done on their trip. Um, try to teach them a word or two of Finnish. They'll love it. They'll go home and they'll be able to uh, show off to their friends that they've learned some Finnish. When you meet them, you know, small talk is uh, very common with Americans. Ask them about their day. Ask them about their visit, how things have gone so far. And also ask them if there's anything you can do for them. You know, don't assume that they're going to tell you. They like you to just inquire. And, you know, they'll really treasure any kind of special recommendations. So be ready in a hotel environment to recommend a coffee shop or something nearby. If you're in a restaurant, um, expect that they might ask you for recommendations about what's on the menu. Um, so they're looking for unique, different things to do, something that they're not just going to find in your typical tourist guide or on Instagram, TikTok, they, they want the inside scoop. That's my thinking. So thanks for watching this week's video. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with what I was saying? Do you disagree? Um, anything I forgot? Um, anything you'd like to add? Please comment down below and I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.